hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to see how we can add a background image to our website so as you can see the site is running and as you can see this is the output right now it is just a plain text which we are rendering okay so to render the image as well as we call this in Django a uh, static file rendering we have to set up a path so for that you have to come into the settings.py okay just scroll below you'll find something called static URL so below that you have to create another variable static files underscore directories okay and we'll assign a path to it okay so it will be os dot path dot join and we'll give base directory and we'll join this with the a static folder okay so this is how you set up the static uh, path okay now as you can see it is just adding to base directory so what we'll do we'll create a static directory right now we do not have anything okay so as you can see we have the app and the project uh, uh, project uh, project folder app folder and then template we'll do we'll open the path and we'll add the new folder over here okay so it will be static everything in small okay now we have the static so what you have to do we have to add the image in it okay so what we'll do we'll cl click on the static we'll add one more folder okay so that we can differentiate what kind of file we are adding so in the static we have image and then within the image we'll add a file okay so i already have one uh, with me i'll just copy that okay so let me just open this so i have this image over here i'll just drag and drop over here so the image has is here okay as you can see now if i open this as you can see within the static image we have the channel underscore mind.png and this is how this particular image looks like reshops are technical warehouse okay we have set up the path now it won't just render it we have to tell the html that you have to enter a uh, image background image to it so for that what we'll do we have to uh, add the image right so what we'll do we'll just give over here come here and we'll add sub to it so it is nothing but uh, style okay style background image okay we'll give the url okay and the url we have to pass the exact url okay so here we have to basically pass the static static path to it okay so we have static and then within that uh, we have to close this first percentage and then yes we have to pass it so we have to tell that it is in image and the name of the image you want to render so it should be specifically same okay so it is channel dot channel underscore mine in caps dot png make sure that it is correct the path is correct okay it is in static within static it is uh, image and within image channel underscore mine dot png okay now we have told the uh, html that the, we are rendering a background image and we have passed the url that is nothing but the path let's see if that has an effect to it so it says that did we miss to load this particular tag okay did you forget to register or load this tag so definitely we have that's why it is throwing an error so what we'll do okay at the first line this is just a comment right html so we'll add a load over here okay we'll lo basically load the static so it is nothing but just type load static okay now save this and see so as you can see the image has been rendered but the dimension is very very bad it doesn't look good so for that we have to play with little bit with the css okay so to add css we again css is nothing but a static okay in, in django so we'll add a static for uh, a css folder within the static so we have image so parallel to image we will have one more folder called css okay as you can see we have two folder within the static one is css one is image both are static files okay just to differentiate what kind of static files are there we are creating a separate folder now we'll create a 
a CSS file within that. Okay. Okay. So to do that, we have to tell the HTML that for this particular body we want it. So we will give a ID tag to it. We'll we'll keep it simple. We'll just say BG. Okay. Save it and then in the CSS will come. We'll we'll define all the attributes. Okay. So we'll what we can do we can say background repeat we don't want the repeat okay so no repeat and then background uh, position uh, we can keep this as top okay and then we have background size you can keep so size is depending on how how you want how big you want so for now i'll just give 1900 pixel and 520 pixel let me just see if that works if not we'll we, we can again uh, uh, play with it it's not a big deal okay we'll attachment we'll keep the attachment as fixed okay i'll save this and i'll see if that works so as you can see still it is not reflecting because our html doesn't know where exactly the css file is there okay so that comes over here in the link attribute okay within the head so it's a style sheet type is text css media is screen fine so here this is the path where you have to mention where your static file is there okay so what we'll do we'll simply just copy this particular thing okay because both are static only okay we just have to tell that this is not an image this is a css file so i'll say that look into the css folder okay and give the name what we have so we have i think so within css everything in small style dot css so style dot css okay now let me save this and see if that has an effect so as you can see it has been loaded now it looks much better than before and this was our actual image right which is stored in static image channel image okay now uh, what we'll do that looks a little bit odd so let me just stretch this out so what i'll do i'll just come here in the uh, style.css and give him extra width to it height to it i'll save this 620 and see okay this looks much better but as you can see we have this recess and django template this looks very odd over here right uh, because of the same background and the same text color so this looks a little bit odd so what you can do we can just simply come here and and we'll just style it a little bit okay we'll just say color and we'll give this white okay we'll do the same thing for the below as well okay looks much better let me just refresh okay so this is how it looks wrong okay so this is the very easiest way to set up uh, static files directory and to load a background image in django so this is how you can do it you just have to play with the html just link the html with the proper css give the proper id and the style formatting in the body tag so that background image can be linked so the, the, that was it this is uh, this is the video which will help you and if you like the video just subscribe like the video and uh, subscribe it and share it with your friends thank you